Waving a cheery goodbye to Britain as he boards the cross-channel steamer, Mr. Bevin begins the first part of his latest mission with a visit of goodwill to sign the Treaty of Alliance with France. Arriving at Calais, the Foreign Secretary was cordially received as he prepared to drive to the historic rendezvous, the war-shattered port of Dunkirk. Lashed by the winter gales, the bleakness of the ruined town was forgotten in the warmth of the greeting between Mr. Bevin and the French Foreign Minister, Monsieur Georges Bidot. Here, in one of the few undamaged buildings, the 50 years Treaty of Dunkirk was to be signed and an old alliance renewed. A large official audience witnessed the ceremony that links the future with the far-off days recalled by Mr. Bevin. When people seek to separate France and Britain, Dunkirk will always be a unifying force to unite us, whatever politicians may do. Thank you. Hello. Now came the formal signatures by Monsieur Bido for France and Mr. Bevin for the United Kingdom. Afterwards came the most solemn moment of all with the pilgrimage to those fateful beaches from which in 1940 the little ships rescued an army and lightened our darkest hour. And so, amid the memories of a great deliverance and a common sacrifice, Britain and France stand once again side by side to march as comrades along the road to a true peace.